Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your uh, weekend spread for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, April 24th, 25th, and 26th, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So whomever this is meant for, 10 card spread, I did clarify the last card here as well as an outcome and three clarifiers. Let's get started, all right. Definitely uh, twin flame energy, okay. Definitely ma uh, manifesting spirit is definitely hearing things as well uh, in regards to your thoughts here, all right. Somebody walked away, whoever this is for, eight of cups, all right. Now, I'm also feeling that they're heading towards the unknown. So I feel that somebody initially walked away. The high priestess is part of that twin flame energy. She is known for that 11, okay. Now, what I'm feeling here is that they're heading towards something that they're not really sure if they're going to take them back, is what that says to me. There's definite communication coming in uh, with the Page of Wands here. could be dealing with fire as well as the Knight of Swords, which is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, as well as Leo, Aries, or Sag here. But there's that reuniting, that communication. Somebody now is coming, turning their back towards the moon in regards to not knowing into knowing what they want, okay? Now, they're not really sure if they're going to be able to receive this person back through this communication, but what they want is a renewal, okay? A new beginning with the Fool card literally leaping towards the past. This is somebody that you already know, all right? Uh, they were kind of, the Temperance does represent Sag here, uh, but really it's kind of like the energies of you know, water represents emotions here. These cups should be level, all right? One's up, one's down, being patient with their thoughts here, uh, kind of rotating the idea in regards to how do I go about doing this, all right? They're coming out, all right? They're coming out of that slump. They're having that change with the Five of Pentacles. They're off to go get the wizard, basically, and that wizard is the higher, or the, uh, yeah, the judgment card here, very spiritual card as well. It is divine energy stepping in. They're heading towards what they have been hearing, signs of, okay, uh, is a decision that is made in regards to this relationship. What's wild is, okay, here we go. You see how that judgment card, the angel is looking over at that magician. Somebody has been seriously thinking about it. I just heard pondering, pondering the idea. They're actually manifesting with their thoughts. The way that we talk is blah, blah, blah. The way that they talk on the other side spiritually is telepathic. So when you're manifesting, when you're in your thoughts here, hang on, outcome, four swords. So calming the mind, healing the mind, thinking about this person. That's exactly what's going on. They've been manifesting. They've calmed their mind. They healed their mind. They got, uh, you know, their balance back out, you know, again. They're heading towards what they've been divinely guided here. And what this card is telling to me is that here, spirit is basically has been hearing your thoughts or this person, take what applies. But whoever is manifesting, calming the mind, healing the mind, okay, I feel that it's this person that is returning, okay? Now, do they think that they're not sure if they're going to get this person back? Yeah, all right? But what they've been manifesting is the Page of Cups, okay? Turning that energy, looking at that magician here. So they want to offer that cup of love in regards to whatever that they've been thinking about, which is offering that cup of love. Don't worry, I'll explain. All right, here we go. Somebody who walked away, okay, has been manifesting with their thoughts. They've healed their energy. They healed their mind here. It took a lot of strength to do so, but I feel it's also going to take the strength to be able to, um, you know, put action into that, action into this, okay? In regards to communication, I feel, okay, for somebody from their past, and the lover's card does represent Gemini here, but it's a decision divinely guided. This is definitely a twin flame energy is what I'm feeling here. But there's definitely manifestation skills stepping in, okay? They healed their mind. They thought about things. They manifested with their thoughts. They have the, have the encouragement, okay, the strength here to speak, all right, in regards to somebody from their past and they're making a decision. Why? because they want them back. Do they think that they're gonna get them back? They're not sure, okay? He's literally heading towards that high priestess, which is known as one of the unknown, but they're sure gonna try, 
you know, they're coming back fast, I feel. I do feel that the opposing person is going to hear them out, okay? But I feel that they are definitely, you know, they came out of that slump. You can't manifest in a, in a mindset of mumble jumble, okay? Not knowing what you want. They've been hearing the signs from spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. So sorry. Allergies. Uh, but yeah, and they now they hear the signs, the symbols from spirit here. Absolutely. Their divine energy. Meanwhile, back on the ranch, spirit's like, hey, we've noticed that you came out of the dark here. We know that you want to rush on back here and communicate. We see that you have this strength and that you've taken that strength and you've healed your mind here. While healing the mind, they've been basically manifesting with their thoughts. What have they been manifesting with their thoughts? To come back, communicate, and offer that cup of love. We hear you. You're going to forward this, I feel. Because they took the time to come out of that, okay? And get that strength to move back to their past here. And make that choice, that decision, in regards to this person from the past. And that's what I have. Sorry for the cough. Got allergies. It's so bad. Surrounded by trees. But you guys rock. Thank you so much for all the GoFundMe uh, donations going on as well. I truly appreciate it. I know times are tough, and I do appreciate helping support my channel. Thanks, guys. Uh, you guys rock. Stay strong. Be safe out there, seriously, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.